Hello everyone, and thank you for taking the time to view this instructional video on how to use the La Crosse County Snowmobile Trails web app. Please note that all data used in this map is updated and represented to the best of information available at the time, but the possibility for errors or out-of-date information does exist, so user discretion is advised. After reading through the opening pop-up, we can then click OK and begin accessing the map. The first thing to mention on this application would be how to manipulate and move the various windows that are visible. For the widget pop-up windows, the user can click any blank spot in the header and drag to move the window to a desired location. To make the window a different size, click and drag the bottom right corner of the window. To minimize the pop-up, click the three dots in the upper right corner. And to close the window, click the X in the same location. Similar to the widget pop-up windows, the toolbar on the bottom of the map can be minimized by clicking the three dot symbols. Moving to the features of this map, there are a variety of tools that can help the user get the most out of the information it contains. Beginning at the bottom left side, there are a few tools that help the user navigate through the map and its viewing extents. Moving from left to right, there is the ability to zoom in and out, go back to the home extent, find your current location, and go back and forward to previous extents. The next feature in line is the Location Search tool. Type an address or place into the search bar and click Enter, and the map will zoom into the area of interest. Moving on to map widgets, the first in line is the Legend widget. This tool is used to display the symbology of features currently visible on the map. As you zoom in and out, different features will appear and disappear as they move in and out of their visibility extents. Up next is the Layers widget. The Layers widget displays a list of all available features for this map. Layers can be turned on or off by checking the box next to the layer name. Similar to the legend, layers that are grayed out can be viewed by zooming in or out to reach the proper map extent at which they become visible. In a similar fashion to the location search tool, after the layers widget, there is a search by parcel tool. This widget gives the ability to search for a tax parcel owner's name rather than searching by address. just after the parcel search tool is the filter widget. This tool can be used to filter out or search for specific attributes for the map features. To use this tool, select the button next to the category of interest, then choose the attribute to filter for. Be sure to turn off the active category before moving to another, Otherwise, the results will not appear as both filters are attempting to be applied. Then there is the Draw tool. This tool can be used to highlight an area of interest for display or printing. To use this tool, choose the drawing shape and then click and hold on the map until the drawing is the desired size and then release. Continuing on, there is the Measurement widget. This tool allows the user to find length or area on the map. To use this tool, choose the proper measurement method and then click on the map. To finish a drawing, double click in the desired ending location. Second to last is the print widget. This tool can be used by zooming and panning to an area of interest and then clicking print.
this printing process can take a while to load in some instances, so please wait while it goes through this. After the PDF loads, you can then click on it to open it in a new window for printing. The last tool on this toolbar is the base map gallery. By opening this, the user then has the capability to change the background map for the application. Just after all of the tools is the info widget. In this widget, there is a hyperlink with our contact info that can be reached out to in regards to questions or concerns about this application. Below the toolbar, there are the last two map features. These are a set measurement scale and a coordinate location finder, which can be used by selecting the small crosshair and then clicking anywhere on the map. If not selected, the coordinate location tool will show the coordinates of wherever your cursor is at the time. Now that we have gone over all of the major features on this map, you are hopefully better equipped with an understanding of its uses and functions. If you have any questions or issues, please feel free to contact us at the previously mentioned email in the hyperlink located in the info widget. And thank you again for using the Lacrosse County Snowmobile Trails web app.